shirts on. Hmm? Your shirt's even on. Mm-hmm. Trident. Trident blue. What do you can't brush? Two on this. Trident blue is our favorite kind. Mm -hmm. Always will be. It's the most important thing you need to know about us, probably. Okay. This is officially our first vlog. Vlog. We declare. Vlog post. Do you call it a post still if it's a, a video? Yeah. We d it's declared. We declare the first vlog post. <laughs> <laughs> yep. On the office. In the I office? declare bankruptcy <laughs> when Michael declares bankruptcy. <laughs> I need to freaking watch more office. Yeah. Um, the preamble to our declaration for me is that I want to do this vlog because, first of all, more than one person have, have said that we should for different reasons. And I've, mostly because I think Clark's funny. That's not the reason. <laughs> okay. It's, but it makes it's the reason. That's a that's a good thought. <laughs> but um, I'll start by saying that I used to keep a journal really really well from when I was fourteen, and I kept it like almost every single day until till he met till the day he met me. Pretty much. The, well, till the day we started dating. Yeah. From from 14 until I got home from my mission. And since then, he's written his journal like two and a half times. They were long ones, but they were, <laughs> yeah, like. Because I forced him. That was the only reason why. So I want to do it so that it's more like a journal. And I've like tried to blog and and do journal stuff, but it just clearly is not working. So that's one reason why I want to do it. And I think it'd be fun to see videos of us because home videos are the coolest things and we have like zero except for ones yeah. that are trapped on old cell phones or which, disappeared into the universe through snapchat yeah they'll never they'll <laughs> that's never, where most of them are yeah lately so video blogging might be the solution i don't know much about vlogging so either i'm apologizing or defending myself like I don't know what is stereotypical, I don't know what's boring, what's cool, what's not. Just just getting just that out be there. Raw. This is just That's this raw. is just me <laughs> vlogging, even though I don't really know what it is. We only heard the I only learned the word about a month ago. Yeah. Tyler Andrews put us up to this mostly. He introduced us to vlogging. And Kurt Steinfeld tonight. Yeah. Told us to. Fifteen minutes ago, Kurt Steinfeld said. So he's the real reason we're doing this. Thanks, Kurt. Yep. Episode one. Shout out, Tyler and Kurt. <laughs> so when I said more than one person has told me to vlog, that's who I'm talking about. Two. Two exactly. <laughs> so that's my preamble. Okay. What's preamble mean? I mean, I know, but like, is that the right <laughs> I <don't> context? <laughs> I probably don't. It's just my before. reasons. Yeah. Reasons are the the reasoning yeah. are because <sighs> echoing his. I also don't write in a journal. I don't know why I was giving Clark a hard time. I've written like three <laughs> times since we got. Yeah, that's not true. I've written more than three, but not in the last two years, probably. So I would like some record of our family, especially while we're living in New York and while Rudy's still young. Um, and I want, I want video of Rudy because I love, like we watched, my family watched home videos all the time. It was like our Sunday activity, watching home videos and we loved it. Um. We might have to speak up, huh? I just realized that. Probably. I don't talk that loud and you don't talk that loud. Yeah. We'll have to s learn how to speak up. So sorry if you can't hear us for the first few episodes. <gasps> JK. I'm gonna try really hard not to say JK ever again, but <laughs> instead um, we will do this, just do that. which is just as annoying. Um, the but the real reason.
because I'm I'm like pretty morally against vlogging. Vlogging. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, <laughs> we both are actually. Yeah. Again, judge um, judges though. Yeah. We're doing it. Yeah. What, so I mean, what the heck? this is the the most severe form of hypocrisy you've ever seen, because I, like I'm, like. We watched a few episodes of the vlogs, and we were just like kind of confused and like didn't really get it. So, what I'm saying is that I want this not just to be about nothing. I want it to be for me personally and Clark. We're gonna start vlogging about nothing is fine though. Yeah, whatever. Sorry, it's fine. <laughs> just. Just in case we just offend cover. people on our first. <laughs> well, that's a that's the whole point. Is like I want to be able to be honest and us and not be pretentious at all about anything and to, to like not. I don't want to pretend to be something I'm not. And so that's why. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Anyway, the second part is that we got fat. Clark and I. Yeah. <laughs> you just said it. We just said it. We got real fat. I got skinny in the summer for a second, and it was wonderful. And then I really screwed it up in the last six months and gained like 40 pounds in the last six months. So that's like pretty big bummer. I didn't do much. I didn't do any better, really. Ben and Jerry's got the best of us. Freaking Ben and Jerry's. Freaking Ben and Freaking Jerry's. Freaking Ben and Jerry's. On ev like, it's two minutes away from us at all times in our life. Yeah. Less than that sometimes. Every corner, every other store more has than, Ben yeah, and Jerry's. More than every corner in New York and especially like in our neighborhood, every corner of every street. So if you walk up this street, on this corner and that corner, there'll be a deli, a little store, and then on the other ones, there'll be four within a hundred yards. And then on a hundred yards the other way, there's four more, and then four more between the next blocks. Like, that's how many places you can go to get, like, a snack or a treat. Yeah. And Ben and Jerry's, they tricked us. They... They reeled us they in. They got us, man. Got us good. Ugh. Especially in milk and cookies. And we would go like deli hopping. We'd go walk down the whole avenue and when go we into every. We, we would send each other. We did a, a, together a couple. Of, well, when we were out. We did do. Okay. Yeah, we'd send each other. We'd find out every night who had to go get ice cream and. And we'd just like go into one, embarrassingly like dig through the ref the freezer, thing for like ten minutes, trying to find milk and cookies or fish food. While the cashier <laughs> looked at me, and I'm like hanging into the freezer, like. Desperate times. Yeah, I mean, that's how bad it got. But then we strategically go to different shops so yeah. that you wouldn't be like, oh, it's oh, they new were here. Again. So it would be like ago. maybe like a once every other weekend. Yeah. To some. But place. really, we were eating it like three or four times a night. A, a night? I mean. <laughs> You're eating it <laughs> a week. Yeah. Like. So, like, if not a Ben and Jerry's, something, something else bad. And Ben and Jerry's, that we would have one each, and that's, like, at least 1,200 calories every night at 11 o'clock. So, yeah. that's where the 40 pounds came from. So we just got that out of the Anyway, yeah. yeah. So, th that's, like, a lot of what this is about for me. And this it's going to be flipping hard. Like, it's okay for me to talk about it right now, because it's just Clark here in the room with me. But like when I go to edit this and see, I don't like I, I don't like seeing myself on camera at all right now. I don't, and like it's gonna be, I probably will like, tell Clark like I don't, I don't, never mind. We're not doing this, and then I'm holding it to you. We're doing this. Yeah, I mean we're both gonna look dumb a lot of times. And anyway, I start when we got married. I was 160 pounds, like. Like, I was, I was, like, a pretty skinny, I feel like I was skinny, I was probably... I just got even more nervous, because we're going to actually talk about numbers, eh? 
We probably should. We have to. Yeah. <laughs> I was 160 pounds when we got married, which is not like my goal weight. I think that's that's really healthy, but that was like pretty skinny. And I always said I didn't ever want to get above 170, and then I broke 200, like like a month or two ago. <laughs> 200 close. 200, man, I finally did it. <laughs> but then I got back down to like 195, and that's probably where I'm at right now. Should we go weigh ourselves right now? Sure. What yeah. the hell? <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> Is it moved? It's too scary. Let me see. Yeah, kinda. You can't move. <laughs> no one's gonna trust us if it moves. <laughs> well, no, it's a fake. So we just weighed ourselves. 199. So I'm, I'm under the 200 club. <laughs> which is, in, in one way or another, a success, I guess, for me. I'm not that scared of 200, like, I think for a guy who's like 6 foot, Got your on your shirt. for a guy that's like 6 foot and athletic, which I'm not <laughs> lately, <laughs> that's like not that bad, but like I'm 200 with like zero strength, like I can't, I shouldn't be 200 right now, I should be like, I should be like one, his ankles are especially weak, yeah, I just sprained my ankle really bad, <laughs> I'm just losing. He rolled down the last step of the subway and laid on the ground for five minutes. <laughs> just lost my balance, <laughs> lost my coordination. Probably that extra weight I'm carrying around, but anyway, 199, I want to be around like 170. I guess this is officially turned into like a weight loss vlog, but like it's not only, only going to be weight loss, but... Yeah. That's one of the primary wait, wait, it's reasons. It's still my turn, though. Oh, I keep Remember? doing that. I feel like I'm going to do that a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. One so, one ninety nine. So, I'm, I'll get to my weight in a minute. It's flipping scary. Flipping scary. So I'm not going to say it yet. I have to work up to it. But back to my the my uh, reasons for doing wanting to do this. It is... <clears throat> so the weight loss thing, I want the accountability. Keep that voice fresh. <clears throat> I just edited it, if you can't tell. Just edited what? The video. Oh. Because I was in the middle of a sentence and then now it's going to cut to this. I was telling you my reasons. Battery died, actually. Right, battery died. And then we like looked at the videos to see how stupid we look and... We didn't look that <laughs> I looked great. <laughs> I mean, anyways, so I was talking about the reason, and so the weight loss accountability is big for me because um, I'm about to like start on a another journey, like I do every six months, <laughs> and uh, well, I'm going home to Utah tomorrow. I'm supposed to go today, but my flight got canceled. So going tomorrow, me and Rudy and Clark are coming out in a little bit. And Maybe this have. is a big blessing that your flight got canceled because we would never have done this. Wow. Divine intervention. <laughs> Let's not go that far. For those not um, of the religious <laughs> orientation. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, anyway, so this is like, I've never really done the accountability thing. It's like... I don't like to publicize my weaknesses and my flaws, but weight, dealing with weight is, is, we don't want that cluttering up our, <laughs> Wasn't there our vlog, um, but yeah, weight has always been an issue for me, it's always, it's constant, and it's a bummer, I hate it. So yeah, this is just my next thing. <laughs> I'm going to try the accountability business. So yeah, I'm going home to kind of like, well, we're going home for vacation, go skiing and stuff, but I'm going early to sort of um, 
regroup because I'm at like a, an all-time low, an all-time high as far as my weight, but an all-time low as far as like eating and winter's getting me down and like our apartment's tiny and so it's always messy and we can't get outside because it's winter. So I'm just like kind of at a, a bad, without sounding too dramatic, I'm kind of at a bad place and so I want to like get out of it. And I feel like making my life public will somehow make that easier. <laughs> it always does. It does. Worked for Justin Bieber. The Kardashians. I mean, look at the Kardashians, for goodness sakes. <laughs> Just put yourself in front of a camera, everything gets, gets great. Life's perfect. So, anyway. It's really stupid. That was stupid what I said. But... It's my turn. Oh my gosh, I thought you were done. I thought I'm you were handing it done. over. Anyway, so I, I feel very hypocritical about everything that I'm doing right now because I like, I don't follow like mommy bloggers because I'm sort of morally against that. I know that there's good stuff that comes out of mommy bloggers. I don't like, I, I did follow mommy bloggers, some, a couple of mommy bloggers for a little bit and like, I felt myself getting caught up in like the whole like, needing like a $12,000 stroller and like the best everything because the mom had them. So I like just had to cut myself off because I could feel it poisoning me. So, and I feel the same way about so harsh. this. <laughs> but it's, no, I'm, I'm down. I'm saying You're it. I'm it's, down. I'm, I'm down. just, it's our friends and family. They don't care. It's true. If they do, then they're just kidding. They're still friends. I'm sorry if I'm offending people, but anybody who knows me and any, everybody who watches this knows me, and I don't feel like I need to apologize for it. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I. Uh, yeah, I'm like, gonna try really hard to be true to myself, be honest. Like that's why we're, like, like dressed like this. I'm not even wearing a bra right now. What? <laughs> They all just looked at your chest right now. <laughs> <laughs> I think I put on my Sunday best, man. <laughs> but Nick's are killing it lately. <laughs> I just made him so uncomfortable. You did? Yeah, I'm talking the, about your Nick shirt. Oh, uh, your boobs. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, I've, I, like, I know my mom and my mother-in-law and my father-in-law are gonna watch this. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> that's that's the that's point uh, four f whatever I'm on. Yeah, we need a disclaimer um, on this. Go ahead. So yeah, like I know that people are everybody's gonna watch that this and I. Everyone's gonna watch this. Meaning my f the people I listed, my parents, my in-laws, and you know. So I want I but I want to be able to like. I'm not sure my parents are actually... Your parents will watch this. So? Yeah, if we tell them we're putting home videos online, of course they're going to watch it. I mean, like, this episode, especially. I don't expect anyone to watch this. Yeah. Anyways, um, so I... I mean, our parents are the only ones who are going to watch this. We're talking to our parents yeah, right point. now. Um, <laughs> so we're... Yeah, I like... I want to be... Myself. Not that I'm not myself around my parents or my in-laws, but like... Maybe I say a swear word or say that I'm not wearing a bra or, you know. So disclaimer right there. Yeah. Disclaimer. <laughs> another disclaimer is that don't watch this if you don't want to. We don't yeah. care. I don't care. Don't pretend like you're watching <laughs> it if you're not. Yeah. Like. If you watch the first five seconds and feel like you need to leave a comment. And tell us to shut up. Yeah, you can do that, but like. This is like, accountability for me is like just a couple people, that's all it needs to be, so. But, and the last point is that we're really bad at like staying in touch with friends and family. And like, like I'll go weeks and weeks without talking to my mom or like I think I've spoken to my dad like twice on the phone since we've moved here. 
And that says nothing about my relationship with my parents. It's just how we are, how I am. Yeah, I'm not that much different. Um, so this will help me feel less guilty about that because we're going to be sharing our lives with my family and friends who care to watch. So, yeah. yeah. Clark drinking his water again. Always drinking that water. Gotta keep that voice sounding crisp. <laughs> um, okay. Just got the shivers. Um. It's a spirit. And it goes for me. So you can really focus here. <laughs> I, okay, it wasn't the spirit. I'm scared. To talk about my weight publicly. I've like talked. I I'm gonna interrupt her first. Can I just do this first? <laughs> okay. Is I. Are you gonna say how much I weigh? No, I'm uh, gonna say that I think Michelle is hot. I think she's sexy. <laughs> like, she's she weighs more than she did when I met her. Like, I really am not like that. A substantial amount. I'm not that worried about it. I'm not just saying it to be stupid either. Like, I think if Michelle told, if she told anybody how much she weighed, everyone would be like. You don't look like you weigh that much. Like, she just, like, I think she just looks... It's these Lululemon stretchy pants that just... And you, she, you're just, like, <laughs> a, you're just athletic. Like, you're just, like, strong. She's always been stronger than me. Like, she's just strong and athletic. Like, she carries, like, extra weight really well, I think. And, like... <laughs> <laughs> it's the nicest compliment anyone's ever given me. <laughs> if I didn't sound no, like it did. that. No, it did. It was I mean, sweet. like, you just, like... <laughs> She stresses about it. I don't think she should stress that much. We're not healthy. We're not at a healthy weight, but, like, I'm not pushing her into this. I'm turning red. I'm not only pushing her into this. I think we both need to step it up in, like, the health and fitness and diet, but I think most of you will agree that Michelle looks really nice. Okay, I'm, she cut, I'm done. Okay. Are you done? <laughs> Before um, you bash on yourself, I just need to say okay. that. Okay, I'm not going to bash on myself. That's an, a goal of mine. Because, like, to make it more comfortable for me, like, it's easy to joke about how fat I am or blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm going to try hard not to do that. Sorry. I gained a lot of weight before I got pregnant with Rudy, gradually. Basically, from the day we got married until, the, like, for the four years before I had Rudy, I was just, like, steadily gaining weight. My highest weight before I got pregnant with Rudy was 185, and I then we started working out at GPP in Centerville, Utah. GPP. It's a really good gym. Gym, and I started losing weight really quickly. I mean, not really quickly. I just started losing weight, but I got pregnant with Rudy like the first month we were working out, and. Um, the first month we were working out? I, like, Quick, the first yeah. month or two, yeah. Um, so yeah, I think that I, uh, and I was pretty, I was not bummed that I was pregnant, but I was bummed that I wasn't going to have the time to lose the weight, and scared. I was scared, like, to get fat while I was pregnant, but I was really, really lucky that I had GPP. This isn't a plug for GPP. I was really lucky though I was working out the whole time I was pregnant because I only gained... I lost a little bit at the beginning and I was sick for the first little bit so I lost even more. So if I go off my starting weight of 185 which was like just a month before I got pregnant I... when I was... my last appointment before I had Rudy I was like 199 so, I felt really good and successful about that, about not gaining a ton of weight while I was pregnant. Um, and then we moved here and I kind of had like this nine month period of pretty good like mental health as far as my weight battle went. I got down to one, I think the lowest weight I ever weighed myself was like 148 or something and I felt really good. Like, you looked really good. I felt good and I felt really healthy. I was exercising. Me and my friend Deborah were running like four times a week. Just doing pull-ups, man. Weeks. I was doing flipping pull-ups. Like pull -ups. seven or eight pull-ups. 
straight, like I can't man do polar. Yeah. It was in July and we went home to Utah. And I was nervous about that trip because I knew I was going to like allow myself to eat and I eat <laughs> eat. I was going to eat food. I there. was going to eat food for the first time and <laughs> no, I was going to allow myself to eat sugar and carbs and um like I was on vacation, eat like I was on vacation and that made me nervous cuz I've never been good at like <laughs> moderation. <laughs> I just like, I'm kind of all or nothing. That's the only way I've been able to have success. I can't like have a cookie. I can have no cookies or I can have a dozen cookies. That's not an exaggeration. Point being, I didn't do great while I was there, but I was at a good weight, so I didn't feel that bad about it. And I was like, okay, hey, when I get home. Anyway, I didn't, I, I have been gradually not gradually, I've been quickly gaining weight since July. And I currently weigh 190 pounds, 0.4. With your clothes on. With my clothes on. Not this, I took this off. But without a bra. Without a bra. <laughs> and then it was wearing this and I didn't With have the bra. gravity, you probably weigh like Just stop. Just 189 stop. if you wore the. My bad. You might need to edit that. <laughs> I'm only 10 pounds less than my 6 foot tall husband. 9. 9 pounds less. And that's like embarrassing. We always joke about like, maybe we should just be fat and happy and... We did, and we did it. And we are. We are happy. We're, well, I mean no, I'm happy. No, we did like the fat thing and like we're generally like really happy but generally. being fat isn't happy. It's not we've, fun. We've learned. There's nothing. It's like, it's really depressing. It makes you, like, I'm so tired. I am, I have insomnia. Literally. Um, which makes me a really bad mom for the first, like, four hours of the day because I'm trying to keep Rudy occupied while I sleep in. And generally that's watching TV. So now my 20... Two month old is addicted to TV and his iPad. So, so yeah, it's so affecting your, us. So it's your twenty eight year old husband. In my, yeah, my twenty eight year old husband. I mean, that's that's he gets another it from topic. His father. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's affecting us big time. Yeah, more than we thought big it time. ever would. I ran up the subway stairs yesterday, and like I didn't recover until I got home and sat down on the couch like I felt I f it was uncomfortable walking home I was uncomfortable walking I ran down the subway stairs <laughs> and it was uncomfortable walking forever Let's see the bruise is this the right ankle it's, like it's healed bruising. quickly thankfully yeah. Thank another you. mercy from heaven yeah but yeah anyway it's it's a big deal we got a lot of changes to make um, the, some changes we're going to make are we're getting a membership, a family membership to the gym that has like a daycare and stuff so we can go together as often as we can, hopefully like five days a week. Mm -hmm. um, just eating healthier, just a healthier lifestyle. We don't need to go into details. Mm -hmm. We don't really have that many details, but we're just going to, we're going to step it up. Um, we're going to get our sleep schedule a little better. A lot better. Way we're going better. to. We want to do this blog, like three times a week, which sounds like a ton. And I said, don't watch it. We don't care. Three times That's a week. That's more for us because knowing us, this could be the first and the last post. Yeah. So like we have to make a game plan. We're not eating ice cream for a year. We do, we do well when we're being dramatic. Yeah, like I did no eat. soda for a year. Now we're doing no ice cream for a year, and we're doing I'm this for do one year. Blog, po vlog, post three days a week for a, f a year. A year, like it or not. And we're gonna do it. And when we don't, then you guys can <laughs> make fun of us and tell us that we, we didn't do that it. we didn't do it. But we're gonna do it. You got it. Um, it's gonna be good for us. Um, 
so thanks for so it's more f what we're getting at is it's more for us and like our moms and dads than anybody yeah, else yeah I mean no so. like people don't really care about our weight loss thing but we're gonna document our lives and at the same time help ourselves remember like yeah. our goals and stuff like that it's a journal on video that's what it is it's a vlog we did it episode number one we just needed to get it done, and it's only going to hopefully get easier and easier to watch for everyone from here on out. So, yeah. We're doing it. We did it. Mm. Edit that out. That's cheesy. It's a kiss. Yeah. In a year from now, this will be cool to watch for us, and um, things will change. A lot of things will change, I think. It'll look like this. It wouldn't be like just like drinking only water and taking <laughs> big bites of air. Mm, that's so good, huh? <laughs> okay, we're super done.